Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And the last time that we spoke about Squeaks was last year when he came home for a visit. But it was mistakenly believed that he was actually released from prison. But now Squeaks has finally come home from a nine-year sentence served about four years for his involvement in a series of armed robberies that netted over a million pound that date back to 2013. When I hit the jackpot, I screamed out bingo. <laughs> and that story showed how things that you did when you was younger can come back to bite you. He was jailed in 2018 for them crimes. And he is a veteran of the music scene and played a major part in the foundations of building UK rap to get credible. He met rappers like Wiz Khalifa and French Montana as he discussed in his Link Up TV interview in 2013. And the earliest mixtapes that I can find was from 2013 as well. Call Me Squeako. And he followed that up with presidential music, White House music, an EP called Running Man and also Memory Lane. And even when he was in prison, he released some animated videos, like the song 3-6 as well. And yesterday, he appeared on GRM Daily to make his return to music and try to get back what he actually lost. If you look at this article from 2015, it says that British rapper Squeaks was about to release White House and it was set to hit stores on the 10th of May. There was a lot of excitement and there were 16 tracks set to be on there and it had up and coming talent such as Stormzy and Potter Paper. So this just goes to show how long ago it was and how established Squeaks was in the industry, where at the time he was probably bigger than some of these artists. When Squeaks says he was in South London with the bosses, he wasn't lying. He has worked with several South London artists like Snap Capone and Blade Brown, and of course, Young Teflon. He'd already done three behind bars freestyles in 2013. And some of the questions that I asked him was, what do you think the lockdown effects on prisoners were for their mental health? For example, the stopping of visits in prison and what effect that had on the prison as a whole or even yourself. He said that depends on the individual and their circumstances. It may have affected them, but others just adjusted well, like myself. His only focus was finishing his sentence. And he said he didn't get involved in the pandemic. In question two, I said, in your Fire in the Booth, you speak about motivation for others and losses in life. Did music inspire you to achieve more and deal with the losses in your life? He said he can't remember them bars that were so many years ago, but he says that music has helped him to achieve a lot. And this is definitely something people forget as well, the way that music can help you in your lowest points in life. He said in a 2013 interview that there was a lot of shit rappers in the UK, and I asked him if he still holds that opinion. He said that was a long time ago and I still think highly of myself. I can't comment on the improvements as I only really listen to myself to be honest. And in 2013 he said Drake was his favourite American rapper. And when I asked him that question today he said J. Cole. And Squeaks is definitely an artist that could transition over to the American market quite easily I think. So he's dropped his daily duppy today. You need to go and check that out. He's had hundreds of thousands of streams already. And congratulations to him as well. And I hope that he stays focused on his music. Just like Snap Capone and Rimsy have. When they come out of prison and turn their lives around. And that is exactly what the channel is about. Documenting the ups, the downs, the good, the bad. But always finding the message behind the story. So welcome home to Squeaks and I wish him all the best in the future. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and check out our written interview on the website now. Peace. Got the peas in the bank, my cash on the up. I'm a ginger, bread man, stack though, get back.